Hi, it's Memorial Day weekend, and you know what that means here on Gays of the Week. It's Memorial Gay weekend, so let's gay it up, shall we? My first question to you is going to be, what did you do this Memorial Day weekend? Did you go to the beach? Did you lay by the pool? Did you go out and get booked up? Or did you work? I'm working, but I'm gonna work in the beautiful weather. You know what summer song I've been reminiscing? Alejandro, Alejandro. Okay, so Memorial Day also marks my one year anniversary of living in my new residency. And as a one year anniversary gift, I thought I would show y'all a part of the house that I've never shown you before, mainly because I never knew it was here. That's right, my landlord told me the other day that we had a patio in the backyard, and I didn't know. So welcome to the patio. It's gorgeous, and for my Memorial Day, I'm gonna sit under this nice, lovely umbrella. Ella, Ella, eh, eh. I always sing, and you guys don't like it. I'm sorry. And I'm gonna do some work. My laptop, some tender green. It's a good place to eat in LA. Oh, I like it. Some people are like over it, but... I'm kind of new still, so I still like it. Anyway, that's what I'm doing today. What are you doing? Tell me your plan. The salad that I got is, um, I don't know what kind of salad it is, but it has, I don't really know what it has in it, but it does have seared ahi tuna, and I love, um, along with lentils, which I was watching that doctor show, Dr. Oz, and he says those are really good. Um, and so my question is, do you like sushi slash raw fish? Um, and if so, what's your favorite kind? I love just pure raw fish. Like, um, I always get sashimi with the little rice underneath it, but I could eat the fish by itself. That's my favorite part. And I've gone away from rolls. Like, I don't like all the other shit. I've gotten straight to the good shit. What's your favorite? Well, I did it yet again. I finished all of my food. Not one scrape left. Do you do that? I think it stems from growing up when, you know, parents and everyone at the time were like, finish your plate, finish your plate, and then you can go to bed, or finish your plate, and then you can go play, or finish your plate and do this, eat everything on your plate, finish your glass of milk. Any chance that encourages obesity, or <laughs> overeating maybe? Because I think I, I think I still have that habit of finishing my plate, and I think it's a mental thing, not a hunger thing. Just saying. And then the last part of the meal, the dessert. Which I don't always do. Typically during the day I don't get dessert. I only get it at night and only when I'm alone. <laughs> That's sad. No, not always. Um, but, oh great. Thank you helicopter. Fly over right now while I'm making my video. Anyway, I got a cookie this time. It's chocolate chip. Scumptiliumptious. And um, I'm excited to eat it, and I'm about to, as soon as I get off this camera with you guys. And my other question for this week, <clears throat> so many questions this week, it's an inquisitive week. <coughs> Choking on lentils. My question is, do you get dessert, how often, and what is your favorite dessert? Mine would have to be cookies, like chocolate chip. Um, I also really like carrot cake and red velvet. Yeah, I used to not eat dessert. I used to be, like, anti-dessert. And then my best friend was like, I have to have something sweet after every meal. And I was like, okay. And so now I do. Great. And now for the questions. Braniel, you guys asked to play um, our first song on Shuffle. So I'm going to start with a song, and then I'm going to skip ahead while it's on Shuffle. There's an angel. Oh, shit. It's crazy in love, which I am not. By the way, Daniel, I'm loving your hair. If it were Sex, Mary Kill Week, I would totally sex you. With Brian's permission, of course. Scott was not here yet again. Please bore someone else with your questions. That's all. Roland, you asked what the most horrid thing we've ever eaten is. I have to say licorice. It's just not good. By the way, Roland made this amazing heaven rendition. It's so pretty, and I, I just, it really touched me in a soft, soft place. So I will be his attention whore this week and say check out his heaven rendition on his YouTube channel. And finally, Miles, you asked what our favorite book is. And 
Oh, there's a great book by Tina Selig called What I Wish I Knew When I Was 20. You should de definitely check that out. I read it right when I got out of college and it really helped me, you know, like getting my life together. And then there's another one called Gay LA about the history of homosexuality in Los Angeles. I haven't finished it, but um, Dan Skelton from the Eating Out, Out movies, he recommended it to me. I need to finish it so I can tell him thanks. Um, it's been like two years now. All right, thanks so much for watching. Hope you're having a wonderful holiday weekend. Thanks for, I already said that. <laughs> Have a fabulous rest of the week and don't forget to watch the rest of the gays. Bye bye. <laughs>